Hey guys, Dirk Knitzen back with you, Hillsboro. We remember Hillsboro. I'm uh, doing a quick shoot here on the Ed Schumerick house, the Craftsman Bungalow. Uh, boy, what a house. So many people have this house amongst their favorites. A good friend of mine uh, lives there now, John Van Grunsman, and Joni Kramer lived in this house for a long, long time. I believe the Kramer family owns it. Um, this was Ed Schumerick's house. Uh, now, Ed owned this lot in 1901. He had another house on here, and then he rebuilt this beautiful home in 1915. Um, this is a craftsman bungalow with a really big porch with the really cool clinker brick and what they call a cockpit gable ends, and there's some really nice detail work on it. So um, I'm going to shoot from this side for just a second. I'm going to roll around the corner and tell you about, uh, about Ed himself. What a gorgeous home here. Uh, right at the corner of 6th and Main Street in downtown Hillsboro. Okay, now I'm over here on the west side, on the uh, 6th Street side. So let's talk about Emil uh, Kuralti. Um, excuse me, not Emil. I jumped houses on you guys. I'm so sorry. Let's talk about Ed Schulmerich. So Ed's dad, Conrad Schulmerich, came out to Oregon um, and, or excuse me, went through California, made a lot of money as a miner, and uh, then he uh, was known for his uh, grain business, his farm business. He got in the business of making butter and cream. And uh, so Ed Schumerick was one of several sons that, that Conrad uh, Schumerick had. And uh, like I said, Ed, Ed bought this lot in 1901, built the house here in 1915, this beautiful bungalow. And so what happened was uh, uh, Old Man Schilmerich and the boys, they built a beautiful brick building at the corner of 2nd and Main, which is known as the Schilmerich Building. Um, this is the southwest corner I'm talking about, and you guys would know it as the, uh, like the Edward Jones Building. It says 1890s on it if you go there now. Um, so Ed grows up and uh, goes on to become a teamster. And uh, he basically hangs in there as a teamster and he's working in that business until 1901. At, uh, when his dad died, when Conrad died, he took over the, uh, Ed took over the store with his brothers. Um, in 1912, Ed Schilmerich became the president of the Hillsboro Commercial Bank. And uh, he also ran the Hillsboro Livery, which was downtown Hillsboro over off of Washington Street. Uh, I believe I might have that wrong, but I believe it was Washington. I'm going to go back over to the front to wrap this up. So that's why this house is important. Not only the architecture, the really unique brickwork, as you can see, that's clinker brick. Um, so Ed, uh, in 1926, formed a creamery association, a local creamers association out off of Farmington. Now, the Schilmerichs had a big, big farm, and I believe they're still out there, uh, out by the old Farmington View School. Look at the unbelievably beautiful front doors on this house. I mean, that's really, really great work. And uh, the Kramers have done an amazing job upkeeping the house here at 614 East Main. Ed Schilmerich died in 1937, and uh, everybody that knew him said that he was just a fantastic citizen, leader, and just a great friend to all involved. So from uh, 614 uh, Main Street in Hillsboro, Oregon. This is Dirk Knudsen for We Remember Hillsboro for the Hillsboro Historical Society. Uh, here enjoying one of the most iconic houses in the region, the Schumerick House, circa 1915. Take care, everybody. I'm back at it.